This is Bournemouth, but they have real Ferdinand because he used to play for them. Okay, yeah, for like 10 games, but he's the only icon in FIFA to ever play for Bournemouth. So I'm adding him to their team. I did this for every single team in this Premier League and we're going to see who comes out on top. Each team has one icon who used to play for them or has some sort of loose connection. And Bournemouth go against Leicester, who have Gary Lineker, of course. Gary Lineker scores the winner. Liverpool's icon is, of course, Steven Gerrard, but Leeds one is Socrates. Why? Well, strap yourselves in for this one. Quite clearly, on Socrates Wikipedia page, it says he played for Garfus Town. He had one appearance here. This random team in the ninth tier of English football had Socrates play for them one time. They're close to Leeds, so I just gave them Socrates because I thought it was funny. Those are the type of reaches we're going to here. Liverpool win anyway, Gerard and Luis Diaz. Okay, I might get shot for this one by the Chelsea faithful, but Manchester City's icon is Frank Lampard because they have nobody else, okay? Yeah, their icon's Frank Lampard because he did play here. That was a weird time. But Fulham have George Best, who played for Fulham for a little bit. I don't think any other icons played for Fulham. And you may think Chelsea and Man United are suffering because they're missing out on Lampard and Best. I can assure you they're not. Ooh, 4-2 Man City. So Cantona could have represented Leeds, but he's the best player to play for Manchester United on FIFA, so he's with them. And in case you forgot, Samuel Eto'o did actually play for Everton for a little bit. Manchester United with a 1-0 win. Newcastle's icon is not Alan Shearer. It's Michael Owen, because Alan Shearer had to represent a different club in order to make this all work. And Ian Wright started his career at Crystal Palace. Roy Keane is representing Nottingham Forest as he started his English career there. But even though Chelsea didn't get Lampard, they did get Drogba. And here's Alan Shearer. He is with Southampton because he did play here and he's the only icon to ever grace this football club. I had to make it work. There is two clubs that I couldn't find a single link for. One of them is Brighton. They just have no links to any icons that I could find. I searched for a good half hour, so I just gave them John Barnes because he's not that good. And they win 3-2 anyway. Oh yeah, I might get shot for this one. Sol Campbell is playing for Spurs because he's one of the only Spurs icons I could find. And the other club which I could find no links to, Brentford. So I just gave them Ashley Cole because he played for two London clubs and Brentford's in London. Obviously West Ham have Bobby Moore, World Cup winner. And Aston Villa have Peter Schmeichel. That's why he's not playing for Man City because he's the only icon to play for Aston Villa. Okay, I lied. Here's the third club that has hardly any link. Eusebio is playing for Wolves because he's Portuguese. That's literally it. I had nothing else. And Henri is playing for Arsenal and Thierry Henri scoring his debut for Arsenal. A hat trick. He scores a hat trick on his debut. Now I gotta sim through a bunch of games. Yes. It only took one game and Alan Shearer is already injured. That's extremely unlucky for a really weak Southampton team as well. They could really use the help. I have also realized that this Man City team is now basically the Avengers. If they lose a single game all year, I will be very, very, very surprised. So Campbell's returning to play against Arsenal. Can he get a win against his former club? He cannot. As a matter of fact, he played so bad he got taken off. Never mind, Man City just lost. Arsenal beat them 2-1. Now we're 10 games into the Premier League season and Leicester are top of the league. This is not a joke. The fairy tale continues. Nine wins from 10, 27 points. This is incredible. Following them are all of the top six teams, as well as West Ham and Wolves doing very well. Newcastle in 11th, not as good as real life. Brentford, Brighton and Southampton. Everton doing pretty well on 13th. Leeds avoiding the drop at 14th. 10 games done. There's plenty of time to go, but I don't know. Could Leicester do it again? And here we go. We're halfway through the Premier League season. Spurs of all teams are top of the Premier League with Sol Campbell. Liverpool are third. Manchester United are fourth. And Leicester have fallen to fifth. What a shame. I thought they were on for a title push, but no. There's a big gulf between them and Man United as well. Having that said, some surprise results are that Arsenal are ninth. And Brentford are out of the relegation zone. Bournemouth are now in there alongside Southampton, who haven't won a game all season. And Brighton. Southampton still have Alan Shearer injured though. And I don't know when he's coming back, so I think they just got really unlucky to be honest. But now we're going to make a change. To put more emphasis on each icon for every team, we're going to make every club put out their worst team possible with the icon. So for example, the Leicester team goes from looking like this to looking like this. A terrible Premier League side, but they still have Gary Lineker. Let's see how well he can do. Also, top scorer so far is Henri. 17 goals in 19 matches. He's been genuinely incredible. Followed up by Lampard of all people from the midfield. And then there's a big gap to Mohamed Salah, Eric Cantona, and Mason Mount of all people. Here's the worst Leeds team with Socrates. And here's how bad the Chelsea team is now. They have Drogba, but everyone else is so low rated because the amount of youth academy players they have on the reserves, they're going to do absolutely terribly from now on. Look at how insane this Man City team is. Yeah, the starting 11 is weak, but I mean, Alvarez is still starting, Ake is still starting, and the entire bench and reserves are all above 80 rated, but they're not winning the league currently. And here's the worst Fulham team possible with George Best. 
I think you get the idea now. Jesus. Okay, and after changing every single team around, Arsenal are now drawing with Everton. But to be fair, Southampton still haven't won a game. Spurs just lost 4-0 to Fulham. Oh my God. Spurs are supposed to be leading the Premier League, but <laughs> they're not doing so great now. And finally, Shearer is back playing for Southampton. Oh my God, this took ages. Finally, he's back in, but can he save Southampton from almost certain relegation? They win against Leeds, so I don't know. Maybe he can. Whoever wins this game goes top of the Premier League. Manchester City versus Manchester United. Who can overtake Spurs? Neither of them. They step on each other's toes. Oh my God, Southampton just beat Man City. The great escape. Oh my God, it's gonna happen. Shearer with a brace. It's Alan Shearer. He's come back into the squad and he's completely changed things. Oh my goodness. Here we are, 30 games into the Premier League season. I've been recording for two hours and I want to die. Manchester United at the top of the Premier League with Eric Cantona and a full team of bronzes. Liverpool follow them up with Man City, Spurs, Chelsea and Arsenal. The top six, but in a bit of a weird order. Leicester are seventh, so they do get Conference League football, but there is still eight games to go, so you never know. And then the bottom of the table, Bournemouth, Crystal Palace and Brighton. Southampton made it out. Alan Shearer dragged them kicking and screaming and they've won six games since we last seen them. The important thing here though is the title race because it is close. There are three teams, maybe four if Spurs get their act together, who can possibly challenge for the title. Let's simulate until there's three games left and see who's still in it. Oh my god, it's basically over. Manchester United are nine points clear with three games to go. Eric Cantona and Manchester United are about to win the Premier League title. And the Champions League places are basically locked up. Wow, oh my god. But the bottom of the table is going to be fascinating. Bournemouth, Palace and Brighton all on very similar points totals. Brentford and Nottingham Forest are very close as well. It's going to be a fascinating end to this Premier League season. Remember, Bournemouth have Rio Ferdinand, Crystal Palace have Ian Wright, Brighton have John Barnes, Brentford have Ashley Cole and Nottingham Forest have Roy Keane. Southampton are completely clear of relegation thanks to Alan Shearer and basically Alan Shearer alone and they lose oh wow 4-2 what a game and they draw 3-0 win for Manchester United a lot of the teams at the bottom dropping points Brentford and Nottingham Forest are still out of the relegation zone and if Brighton Crystal Palace and Bournemouth don't get any points from this game week they're relegated and they draw Bournemouth are down and Crystal Palace have Man City can they get points to survive they can oh my god they won they just beat Man City can Brighton replicate what Crystal Palace did no they can't that means Brighton are also relegated and an interesting turn of events, Brentford and Nottingham Forest actually play against each other. Whoever wins is safe, but whoever loses has to battle it out with Crystal Palace on the final day. And Brentford win! That means they're safe, but Nottingham Forest aren't. As you can see, the top of the table is shored up. Manchester United have won the Icon Premier League, but at the bottom, it's a fight between two teams. It's Crystal Palace versus Nottingham Forest. Nottingham Forest have Crystal Palace. No way. Oh my god, they have each other. If they draw Nottingham Forest, they up, but if Crystal Palace win, they survive in the Premier League. Crystal Palace have Ian Wright. Nottingham Forest have Roy Keane, who can survive? It all comes down to this. Oh, Palace won! Oh my god, the great escape. Oh my god, Palace stayed up. On the last day of the season, top scorer was Thierry Henry and Leon Bailey. And if you enjoyed this video, then check out this video. It's putting the icons back on their club teams and letting chaos unfold. It was incredible. So much fun stuff happened. Check it out. Thanks for watching.